Good morning, this is Gracie Opulancer and I'm all about eccentric and opulent lifestyle. You can find out a lot more about me on GracieOpulancer.com. I have in the last three days putting a lot of leather shoe review brands on my YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment. They're shoes that I wear, they're brands that I know and I'm here in Tuscany, Italy, the land of leather. Coming to Italy, put in the word Tuscany in GracieOpulancer.com or even Italy and you'll get some fantastic travel style, fashion and hotel tips. Today I am talking about the brand Lotus and Lotus is a brand I've never heard of and been around since 1877. It's the first brand that does not tell me where it's made. So unlike Dolce Cabana, Santoni, Versace made in Italy. Now is there a difference between leather quality grains? Absolutely. And for me, they're a fantastic design shoe, don't get me wrong. I mean look at this zip. I'm looking at the hardware. But the leather is much lower quality than all the brands that I've put up apart from A dot S.98 and Chai Mahara. So this, I would say, is a, sem a low grain leather. Now in Tuscany, there are 200 factories that have clothed down in the last couple of years. And sadly, LVMH are taking over. So make sure. So the more that these conglomerates take over, they're going to produce lower quality leather shoes and fast fashion, Dior, Gucci, Prada, it's all fast fashion now. There's nothing exclusive. I'm telling you, anything exclusive, a lot of stuff in my wardrobe is bespoke, tailored to made. You're not going to find it in the shops. So back to La Tous. Is it French? Is it Spanish? Is it Italian? I should have checked before I started this video. But the strange thing is, it doesn't tell me where it's made. Interesting. I bought these in Spain. I mean, I love the design. But if we're comparing, this is, you know, these are retailing at a 219 euro full price. Um, the other Made in Italy shoes that I've uploaded on my YouTube, like and subscribe, five, six, seven, eight hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred. And I can instantly see the quality difference of the leather. This is suede, but I love the design. This is a nice honey. I got these for the zip. The hardware is not as good as the other um, brands, Dolce Gabbana, Santuni, that I've uploaded. Can you see the difference? Watch the videos, compare them. I'm linking them all together. But what I do like is they're a good entry point. They're still a good shoe, good sole. Been around since 1877. I can smell the leather. These are just adorable. I love these. Again, um, rubber sole. These are both rubber sole. I like the attention to detail to the chains and zip. I'm all about chains and zip. This is a monk loaf, a female one. Easy to slip in. I would say summer, autumn brogue will go with anything. I mean, look at just the colours here. Don't they work well? Calma, tacto e piacena. I got a feeling that this is a a um, Spanish brand. So you can see, Vitus, um, yeah, Boston, Kie, Cuero. So Cuero, leather, Boston. But it still doesn't tell me where they're made. I bet they're made in Spain, Portugal. But it comes across as... Um, French name. I'll find that out. I'm so sorry for that naivety. I just honestly bought them. My stuff's been in storage for four years. Clearly haven't worn them, but I will. Great summer, autumn um, uh, brogue and double monk. I mean, look at this with the sunflower here in Tuscany, sunflower season. Put a sunflower dress on with this. Look how it will look. Put a, um, a mustard socks, pink, these are gorgeous. This is actually very heavy, these. I'm loving the zip. This I don't see at all. The hardware is a lower grain and so is the leather compared to, let's say, Dolce Cabana, 
Versace Prada, but for the price, that's what you're getting. But I'm telling you now, in Italy, they're selling a lot of plastic nonsense here in Italy and in Tuscany. So it's a good entry point to get an everyday shoe that you don't have to really look after that well. This one is a nice light leather. This is fantastic. You can see the hardware is um, lesser of a quality. But I am in Tuscany, so I could go and say, hey, I want these done again, and I want it done um, handcrafted, handmade, and I want to put a put a higher quality leather belt, uh, buckles and so forth. So they're a good inspiration. But as I said, I've never worn them, but I loved, I know why I went for them because the colours are different. They're very versatile. Don't they look gorgeous with the sunflower? And they could look fantastic with my tassel bag. In fact, tassel on my YouTube. Have a look. How to wear tassels. Burnt orange would look fantastic here. Burnt orange skirt. Like and subscribe. Comment. Are you liking my brand leather shoe review? Something that I've not done before, but my wardrobe's been in storage for four years. It's all out. We're here in Italy. We're here in Tuscany, the land of leather. When you're coming to Italy, invest in made in Italy leather shoes. Don't go buy plastic nonsense or Zara or H&M. What are you coming to Italy for? You can buy those brands anywhere. Shoes, people judge us by our shoes. Shoe carry energy. Shoes send out messages. They describe your personality. If you're going for an interview, I'd be wearing some of these. People remember. People that are interviewing you remember you by your shoes and your socks. Look, imagine sunflower socks. Oh, great idea. I think these are made in Spain or it's a Spanish brand. Very, very strange where it doesn't say, and I've never had a shoe brand like this, that doesn't say where it's made, but we'll find that out. Like, subscribe, comment. Are you liking my shoe brand videos? Would you like more? Who's Chai Mahara? Dolce Cabana, Prada, Miu Miu, Santoni. I am going from mediocre leather, different grades of leather, to high, high-end leather. Comes down to you, but whatever you do, when you come to Italy, invest in a made in Italy, 100%. Go to the to the leather shops here in Tuscany. Just make an effort because shoes, now leather factories, 200 have closed down in Tuscany. LVMH have brought a lot of the factories up. That's Dior, Gucci, the Kering Group. And they're going to just mass produce and as a conglomerate dominate the leather shoe market and therefore mass produce. These are not, I haven't seen any shoe designs like this in Italy. Now they're selling a lot more plastic shoes at 100 euro. Look at this, for 220 euro you've got a leather shoe, got something very unique, double monk, so easy to slip on. Remember if they're half sizes, that means the shoe is wider not longer which one do you prefer oh these are my favorite but i went for these as well because look look at the zip really really unusual fantastic rubber sole these are an everyday shoe definitely these shoes are a summer autumn spring shoe same with this you can see versatile honey color color that goes with everything look you can wear it with a, oh, this would look great, really with Capri or Palazzo trousers, skirts. You really want the shoe to be noticed. Mustard socks, all earthy tone colour socks, olive green socks like those olive trees. The stone of the Tuscan homes here in Tuscany, Italy. Like, subscribe here. This is not the quality of a Dolce Cabana or a Sartini or a Prada shoe. I can say that, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're a great start to understand leather has different quality grades. The hardware is nowhere the quality that Italy would have or the high-end luxury brands, but it will do. This is quite heavy, heavy but I do like how they've done this. I love the imperfections here. 
for sure. I wonder if this would have been handmade. It possibly is because I can tell by the cut and the way that it's done. So this would have been put together by hand, which is fantastic. Don't worry, leather is all about imperfections. And I love, if you have a real look closer here, a lot of work's gone in this shoe because they've wired all the chain. And again, that's interesting. They've wired that in. Look, and then glued that in. Love, love. I have not seen a shoe like this. I think this is really special. I would, I'm going to look for a, a poppy dress or a sunflower dress or a top. Doesn't the synergies look good? Then a knee-high mustard socks. Let the shoe do the talking. Shoe is nothing until someone steps into it. And if I just put it on, look at this. Yeah, grey colour is my favourite colour this is. There's my Italian grapes. Leathers come in different grains. Like, subscribe, comment. Which do you like? I've done a lot of videos on how to spot high-end luxury shoes, why you should buy luxury shoes made in Italy, not plastic shoes. I have all leather shoes. I've bought leather shoes all my life. And I... <laughs> I sell shoes on Vestier and there's some fantastic ones there at the moment on Vestier. And the reason I do it is they're too big. But generally the shoes that I wear, I'm not getting rid of because the shoes of the quality of today are expensive. Debatable whether they're as good as shoes were 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. I've got a blog called VintageStyleClothing.com. It's my passion. It's definitely what I would recommend which do you like? Do you like the honey? I love the two-tone. I think they're made in Spain. I will double-check that. I just never had a shoe brand that it doesn't call to action of where it's made. So that, for me, is interesting. Great rubber sole. It's a 39 and a half. Half means wider, not longer, wider. So if you've got a shoe, trying it on, and it's a bit too narrow, they ask for a half-size and it'll be wider. And what do you think of the zip and the chain effect here? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.